are the sweet sound of a fresh new can of Diet Coke. It's made with aspartame, so it has all the flavour but none of the sugar. Donald Trump's such a fan, he drinks a dozen of these bad boys a day. This is a very ominous looking because of the red button. What does that get you when well, you press the button? Coke. But could his fave fizzy be putting him in mortal danger? Aspartame since the 1980s with the approval of food safety bodies. It's found in diet sodas, sugar-free chewing gum, puddings and cereals. But for decades it's been accused of all sorts of crimes. Worst of all that it causes cancer. So IARC, the cancer research arm of the World Health Organization, looked at all the evidence. Its answer? Maybe? is the third level down with probably carcinogenic is above that and actually carcinogenic is the top level. So really they're just being conservative because they don't want to declare something as safe if it isn't safe. But it, it doesn't mean that they are saying that it's definitely established as carcinogenic because you know it indicates that their evidence is quite weak. Actually, carcinogenic substances include alcohol, tobacco, air pollution and processed meat. Probably carcinogenic, that's red meat, insecticides and working night shifts. And in the possibly carcinogenic category, along with aspartame, are aloe vera extract, pickled vegetables and working as a dry cleaner. But IARC doesn't specify exactly how risky these things are, because aspartame does contain a tiny amount of the carcinogen methanol. The fundamental maxim of toxicology is that it's the dose that determines the likelihood and severity of a toxic effect. And there's only a tiny bit of methanol. My calculation, based on a 50 kilo person, is that it'd be about 11 cans. But it's not going to be very good for your kidneys if you go around drinking 11 cans of soda. I think you can have a can or two a day uh, with no problems. The moral of the story, don't be a Donald. Give me your card, please. <laughs> so, look, fear not. I think we hear that word carcinogenic and ignore the possibly and all the other data in front of it. It's mm -hmm. fine. It's the same amount of methanol that you find in a glass of orange juice, yeah. which you don't know that orange juice has got methanol in it until you get pregnant and everyone's like, did you know that orange juice has got <laughs> Also, in it? if you're having the diet soda instead of an alcoholic drink or instead of the full sugar yeah. one, you're definitely winning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, can I just say, are you a dry cleaner? who likes a bit of aloe vera and a little sip of Diet Coke, <laughs> you hang in there, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs>